Hi and welcome back on this channel. My name is Clément and for those who are new here, I'm a content creator based in France. 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 It's been a while since the last time I've made a video like this one, like about a year or something. But I'm back and today I'm going to do a sequel to that video where I was um, telling you how I prepared my first big road trip to the US. And for those who haven't seen it, I'm going to link it up in one of these corners. I had this idea of doing a big road trip from New York to LA and didn't want to go through like a um, travel agency or something. Just wanted to plan it all by myself. Like plan tickets, car rental, activities, accommodation, booking, everything. But today, uh, the point of this video is to tell you more about the details of the actual road trip. So I've stopped in a little less than 20 different places, cities during these months on the road. And yeah, of course, some of them were just to, to sleep and to get closer to the places I really wanted to see. I flew from Paris to New York and stayed there only uh, 24 hours because I knew that uh, accommodation in New York are expensive. Everything's expensive in New York. And I didn't want to spend too much time in the cities that I've already been to. So from there, I took a train to Washington DC where I stayed two days. There I just like explored, took a few pictures of monuments, but same, uh, it was my second, second or third time in DC, so I didn't want to spend too much time there. From there, I rented a car that uh, I used for the whole trip and dropped it off in LA once I arrived at the end. So yeah, there I was ready for the drive of my life. From DC, I drove to um, Wilmington, North Carolina, because they used the city to film the TV show One Tree, and I used to be a fan when I was younger, so whatever. Just for me, not much to do, but just to see the spots was fun. From there, I drove to Atlanta. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I drove there and I found it to be like a classic American city with big tall buildings and I just stayed there for two or three days. Pretty much sums up the first week, which is the perfect example of the places I, that could have been skipped during this trip because I didn't see much in interesting stuff, I guess. I have been driving for like three hours now on my way to New Orleans which was one of my favorite stuff uh, during this road trip because I think I don't think there is any other city like New Orleans in the US uh, as this city has a lot of history because I've done some research and apparently it was, it was founded by the French in the 18th century then became Spanish to become French again then to be at the end sold to the Americans so yeah a lot of history when you explore the French Quarter you can see a French street's name a Spanish name on, and apparently I was there doing a special weekend called South Decadence which is a, a one of the biggest LGBTQ plus uh, event in New Orleans. <music> Staying in the French, French Quarter is the best way to explore the uniqueness of New Orleans because when you go out of it you start to see uh, a more American, classic American city with tall buildings and stuff. And if you're here to, to see like uh, very interesting or different stuff, then stay in the French quarters. Plus there is like a lot of hotels, hostels too. If like me, you don't want to spend too much money on accommodation, you should check the website Hostelworks. This is not a sponsored video or anything. It just helped me a lot during uh, this road trip when I was planning it. It works everywhere around the world because I've used it even in Australia when I was there last year and it was great. Uh, it works like any other booking website. You can see different prices, customer um, comments and stuff. Very good, you should check it. Then on my way, on my way to Austin, Texas, uh, I've stopped in an old plantation and it was very beautiful to to visit because when you arrive you can see those big oak trees of course all the way to the big huge house so you could visit around and, and then you could also like take a tour with the guide inside the house next up was austin texas and i was very impressed by the city because when you think about texas uh or at least when i think about texas i used to think that it was um 
old town, old people with um, an old, old way of thinking, if I can say that way. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. In France and in Paris, we have like baguette, love and a beret. But uh, you have that in Texas, so sorry. But no, Austin is a very modern city and, and you, you can see like new construction, new places, buildings and stuff look, which look like very modern. And, and though I didn't explore it that much because it was, it was very hot outside, like 35 degrees. So I would go out and then phew, sweating as f But uh, it's, it was interesting to see how, how wrong can be about something. So from there, I drove about 10 hours to New Mexico, which was, I think it was the longest drive of this road trip. Yeah. Please do remember that when you plan a road trip, you have to check the distances between places because sometimes you can be wrong about how far a place can be from another. So yeah, uh, New Mexico doesn't have much to offer unless you're into uh, alien invasions or if you like the TV show worlds or whatever, but I didn't go there for those reasons. So I don't really care about alien invasion. I went there to explore uh, White Sand National Park. So you're gonna ask me why would you drive that much just to visit another park? But it has it had white sand, so <laughs> I went there early in the morning, and of course I didn't know there was gonna be another special event that day. I arrived. It was already crowded with uh, lots of cars waiting to get in. And same inside the park, uh, people were already like sitting on the on the sand, waiting on chairs and towels to watch the balloon fly. But uh, it was fun, fun to watch. And it taught me that no matter how good you are at planning or organizing and stuff, you can never be like prepared enough. And sometimes you're gonna like miss information and it's okay, it's part of the game, but, but yeah. So this pretty much concluded the second week of this road trip. The third week of this road trip was uh, all about Yellowstone National Park. From New Mexico, it was like a long way up, a long drive. So I had to make a few stops on the way. Um, so first I stopped in Colorado Springs. I've stayed only like one or two days, so didn't explore that much, but I get to see like beautiful scenery and stuff, so it was nice. Uh, and then I went to another park called Rocky Mountain, where I hiked for like half a day, just to witness like the contained, of course. And then I drove up to Yellowstone National Park. I've actually made a video last year about it, so I'm not gonna go into full details, but this was my favorite stops of this road trip because of the like uniqueness of this place, different sceneries, landscapes, hot springs, wildlife, everything was beautiful, it was crazy. I stayed there for four days, I think, um, which was the longest time I was spending in one place. And it was like not even enough to see everything I wanted to see because it is a huge park. Once this was done, I was on the road for three weeks. So starting to be like a little bit tired, but I had to stay focused because of what was coming next, which was Utah and Arizona. I drove down to a small town called Moab, which was pretty much in the middle of nowhere and I would have never thought about if I had done research. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much a small town with only accommodations, hotels and like uh, food places. But when you go to Moab, you don't stay in Moab, you go there to explore what's around, which is parks. Because yeah, the US has a lot of parks, like a lot, a lot. So first I uh, went to Arches National Park, which is located like just around the exit of Moab, so it's very like easy to access. I went there um, just before sunset, so I knew it was going to be crowded, but um, I still had the time to explore it and take beautiful shots, which by the way, if you want to see, you can check my Instagram, which is going to be here or here, I don't know, I never know, where I post uh, everything that's uh, pictures related, so Go take a look. Next morning, I woke up super early to go to that spot that I found on Instagram, which appears to be famous apparently, and is located in Canyonlands, like about 20 minutes driving from Moab, so not too bad. And I remember arriving and it was still dark outside, so I just followed uh, some people to the spot. And then when we arrived, uh, there was like a bunch of photographers standing in front of this huge 
high shade rock, uh, camera on tripod ready and just waiting. So I was um, lucky enough, enough to sneak in and put my own and we waited like maybe 30 minutes and then boom, the like the sun rose in the middle of this island it was amazing. And then when, when this was done, it was too early. So I was like, it's stupid to like leave now. So I just explored a little bit. Uh, I drove around inside the park and could see like those like good. You can just watch the view, which is really nice. Oh, the moon is here. I don't know if you can see the moon far away. like. So like there is nothing in the middle, but it's so far and you can see everything, those big rocks and the void, the nothingness. This park was amazing. Next up was Page uh, in Arizona. And same as Moab, Page is like uh, an accommodation tourist town where you just go there to sleep and explore what's around. Here I had planned two things, which were first horseshoe bend, which you must have seen on Instagram, because you see this big rock in the middle of the Colorado River. And actually went there for sunset or sunrise to take different kind of pictures and it was very beautiful. And then I went to Antelope Canyon, which was one of the main uh, interests for me because it's so beautiful. The pictures are so were beautiful, so I was like, very exciting to see it. But this one is a bit different and there is a few things to know before you go. Antelope Canyon is one of the very few indigenous uh, protected area left, so it's very restricted. First, you have to book with the tour before uh, going there. So you cannot just go and say, I'm gonna visit it today. No, not gonna happen. You have to book it before and it's like very touristy. So remember to book it like before you go, like way before. There's uh, actually two types of tour, one which is more classic and one photographer specializes kind of tour. When you have to come uh, with your camera and your tripod, but either way, the, the tour will last only like an hour inside the canyon. The guide is going, um, will take you at the parking lot and drove you to the entrance, which is about 15 minute drive, I think. And then the race began because first, it's very crowded, of course, everyone wants to see it. The, like the inside the canyon, everything is very narrow, so not too many people can walk through at the same time. And then depending on the time of day, the light changes inside. So you won't be able to see like those beautiful things you saw on Instagram if you don't go at the specific time. So everyone wants to go at the same time, of course. I managed to take beautiful pictures of this place, so I'm glad I went, but in a very stressful way. Because I remember the guy, the guy telling us, uh, okay, you can stop here, uh, be ready. We have only like three or four minutes for you to take the pictures and then we have to go to the next stop. And it was the same like thing all the way. I understand that they have to um, manage it that way and there are rules to be respected when they want to protect their, their land and to avoid people from destroying it. And there was a lot of tourists and everyone wants to take that perfect Instagram shot. But as someone who likes to um, explore places by myself at times where it's less crowded, this was, this was an experience, uh, a challenge that I really didn't enjoy. I, I take pictures because I love it and I like to my time to set up my camera for angles, exposure and so on and so on. But doing it with the pressure of not having enough time, I really don't like it. And I know it might sound selfish and it probably is, but that's how I feel. So if you plan on going, make sure you're ready and you have all the information because you can be surprised. I know I was. At the end of that day, I was pretty much exhausted and I was supposed to follow with the Grand Canyon, but I was in a bit of a like a park over those mood, if it makes sense. So I decided I decided to change my plan and cancel it. Uh, instead, I drove from Page to San Diego, which was about nine hours, and stayed there for two days, where I pretty much just like explored around, took a few pictures, uh, and then I went to my last stop before LA, which was Joshua Tree. There I, rent, I rented a trailer in the middle of nature, which was, which was a very nice experience because... It was very like quiet and calm and peaceful. 
I would say. The only thing though is that I didn't sleep that well because I was kind of afraid that snakes would sneak in and killed me, but they didn't, so it's fine. The next day I went to LA and dropped off the car and boom, that was done. The road trip was over. I'm not sure how long the video is gonna last, but um, thank you so much if you watched it until this point. Uh, if you enjoyed, enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button or subscribe or both. And whatever you wanna do, do it. Uh, so thank you again, and I will see you in the next time. See ya. Cause you can see French, Three. Oh my god, I can't speak anymore. Hi and welcome back on this channel, my name is Clément and um, for those who are new here, my name is Clément. Today, it's gonna be the day and I can't find back. Mm. Um, so yeah, in this video, no, yes, maybe, I don't know, yes, ah, hi. My name is Clément, Clément, and uh, je recommence. Oh, hi. Hi and welcome. Putain. Oh, putain, ta mère. Putain. To uh, first visit. Uh,